what's going on CPAP Nation? Today I have the ResMed AirFit F20 full face CPAP mask up against the Fisher & Paykel Viterra. Which mask full face do I think is the best in the world? Stay tuned, I'm gonna get right into it. Hey, what's going on guys? So we've gotten asked quite often over the past year or so, what is the better mask? The AirFit F20 by ResMed or the Fisher & Paykel Viterra? And I'm coming to you in this video as an 11 year CPAP user using all different masks, machines. I've used both these masks. Both these masks are excellent masks. However, I feel the Fisher & Paykel Viterra far exceeds, far outdoes what the ResMed AirFit F20 can do. And I'm gonna be doing a demonstration today and I'm gonna show you what I like in particular with the Viterra that the ResMed AirFit F20 does not have. So let's get right into it. So when you look at both these masks, you can see that the Viterra has the stabilizer bar here and the F20 does not have that stabilizer bar. So it does exactly what the name indicates. If you guys are side sleepers, side to side, uh, this helps hold that mask, that helps hold that in place. On the top of the headgear, you'll notice that there's a Velcro adjustment strap. And I'm surprised that ResMed has not incorporated that on the F20 because the more points of contact you have for adjustment, that means the less pressure you can take off of the other points of adjustment. So without this strap uh, on the ResMed AirFit F20 on the top of the head, you're gonna have to make the adjustments from the four corners where it's gonna create more pressure in those areas. Uh, the F30 hybrid uh, has that strap and I think it's important because I've used the F30 in the past and as soon as I've gotten a leak up near the eyes or by the nose, the first adjustment I tell people to make and what I make is the adjustment on top of the head. I love that adjustment. Um, I'll take off the mask here. I'll show you guys the, the cushion. So the Viterra has what's called roll fit technology. This was incorporated on their simplest. So this helps take less pressure off the bridge of the nose. Also helps with a seal since this is an adjusting silicone cushion. The ResMed does not have that feature. The headgear on the Viterra just pops off like this so you can disassemble easy. I'm gonna be doing a demonstration a little bit, show you how quickly this disassembles and reassembles for cleaning. And I know a lot of you older folks and people who have dexterity issues, you're going to like that uh, over typical masks. And then on the AirFit F20, you have to unhook the Velcro. So one of the most underrated things on this headgear, I think, is these clips. On ResMed, these magnets, I can't tell you how many of these magnets we've sold because people have lost them. You know, these just slide off. Where when the Viterra did these, right? There's a one-way Velcro on this, so these don't come off easy. So it's gonna be a lot harder for you to lose these clips than the ResMed F20. And when you do take these off, you got to press this down and then the clips come off. But as sliding in, as I said, it's one way. It slides in very easy. Very innovative uh, that they did that with the headgear because I know how many clips and magnets of other brand masks we have sold throughout the years. One thing I'm going to point out is that ResMed AirFit F20, the whole entire elbow disassembles 
The Viterra does not have that, but it has a quick release swivel that pops back into place. So if you guys are waking up in the middle of the night on the F20, you gotta take both fingers, squeeze to take out the elbow. On this, all you have to do is pull down with the hose. It comes off very easy. People who, again, have dexterity issues, you're in the dark, you can easily find the hose and you just have to yank the hose. We'll put this back on and point out a few other features before I do my demonstration and show you how fast these things disassemble and reassemble and I will have my beautiful wife of um, 18 years this year, I think. It was a 2003, August, we got married August 8th, um, 2000, 2003. And she works here, not a lot of people know that. Not a lot of reps know that. I don't tell anybody because the best thing about having your wife work here, right, is that when a rep or somebody comes in and they don't know that and they're nice to me and they wanna do a deal with me and the first thing I ask them is, is the rep nice to you? How, how, how is the rep with the girls? And you know what? We're lucky. Just about everyone who's ever come in here has been great to our staff. And I've had no issues with ResMed or Fisher and Paykel or even Phillips Respironics for not being nice to ourselves. They've all been nice to our staff, so I give them that. So we'll put these back on. We'll do, I'm gonna show you a few more features I like with the Viterra over the ResMed F20. On the back, hasn't been a problem with me, but a few people in the past, it's not a lot of the population, but um, they tend to get skin breakdown, redness, or even pressure sores on the back of their neck, back of their head from CPAP gear. And what Fisher and Paykel did with the Viterra is they cre created what's called a venti cool system where this is a breathable fabric. So in theory, sweat less, less pressure, less likely to get pressure sores on the back of your head with that strap. Other thing I like with the Viterra is if you take the F20 down, it just comes down. You're rolling around on your pillow, less, less stability there where you could potentially get a leak. Whereas if I pull the Viterra down, right, it goes back into place because of how it's aligned on the front. One thing I don't like with the F20 is this hard plastic uh, going across the cheekbones, close to the eyes. I don't like anything near my eyes. On the Viterra, everything is at the top of the head. And I just wanna show you guys the quick release I was talking about on the Viterra, where you just take the hose, pull it out, and you can actually hear it click in, you know it's in. I love that feature. It swivels 360 degrees, just like the ResMed. Again, you have to squeeze for this to come out. So what we're going to do is we're gonna do a cleaning test. Uh, for you guys who clean your equipment, disassemble, reassembly, I'm gonna show you how quick that is. I'm going to have my wife, hey, um, Mona, I need you to set the timer to time me uh, taking the ResMed mask apart and then I'm gonna take a Fisher and Paper Viterra mask apart. And then I wanna do uh, reassembly. Five minutes. Can you help me? I'm helping you. Okay. I got my beautiful wife Mona there. Okay. <laughs> so you ready, you gonna time me? Okay, let's go. I got my beautiful wife Mona there. Okay. <laughs> so you ready? You gonna tie me? Yeah. Okay, let's go. You ready? Yeah. Okay. So, so these are the rules. I'm gonna take apart both these masks. Headgear has to come off, all the accessories have to come off. I'm gonna leave the clips, I'm gonna leave the magnets on there. I have to check with manufacturer's recommendations on both of them. I don't know if you're supposed to take the clips or the magnets off before washing, but hey, bacteria gets everywhere, right? So 
Um, let's start with the ResMed AirFit F20. You ready to start? Yeah. Ready, set, go. There, stop. What do we have? Like 25 seconds. 25 seconds. It's pretty quick. AirFit F20, 25 seconds. Okay. Um, let's do the Fisher and Paco Viterra. Hang on, let me take this hose off. You ready? Set, go. Stop. Seven, seven, seconds. seven seconds. Seven seconds. And what do we get? What do we get for the other one? Twenty-five. Twenty-five seconds. So you can see how many pieces we have here. One, two, three, four pieces. Resmed. One, two, three, four, five, six six pieces. So as you can see, the disassemble uh, side of it was seven seconds. Pull apart, I pulled this entire mask in seven seconds. So let's, uh, time for reassemble, Mona. Reassemble. Tell me when you're ready. Ready? Okay, okay let's go. Done. 30 seconds. 30 seconds? 30 flat, not too bad. You ready for the Viterra? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here we go. You ready? Go. Okay, what do we have? 12 seconds. 12 seconds? Okay, as you can see, a lot easier to disassemble, reassemble this versus the AirFit F20. I still think less than 30 seconds is outstanding for me to be able to pull apart this mask and put it back together again. But uh, for you guys who do have dexterity issues, who, you guys who are older, who have mobility issues, I think the Viterra is a much better mask, easier mask to pull apart. And um, that's about it, guys. So if you guys buy your CPAP supplies from us, make sure you guys use promo code CPAP Nation to save how much how much is CPAP Nation? Is that 20%? Mona? Yes. It's 20%. Mona says it's 20%. We're gonna have to do a promo code uh, a promo code called Mona. What do you think of that? <laughs> That's it, guys. Hey, if you guys like the video, please give a thumbs up. If you guys have tried the Viterra, you guys have tried the AirFit ResMed F20, I'd love to see what you guys think of them. If you guys have tried both masks, please put it in the comment section. I'm curious to hear what you guys think. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. God bless. Sleep well. Stay positive and test negative. See you guys.